What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Tree of Whispers endgame content in Diablo 4. So one thing that we do want to say is that you're going to start to be able to do Grim Favor rewards and utilize the Tree of Whispers once you complete the main campaign. Now the Tree of Whisper events can be something like clearing a cellar or harvesting orbs from creatures or enemies that you kill in a specific location, but they can also be dungeons. And these dungeons are marked with the Grim Favors little symbol and it'll show you that you get five Grim Favors for completing a dungeon. Now the really cool thing about this is it essentially lets you kill two birds with one stone. You can not only get Grim Favors for doing specifically marked dungeons, but you can also get the aspects if you haven't gotten that aspect yet from that dungeon. And being as the Grim Favors can be completed throughout Sanctuary and they're not just tied to a specific location like Helltide is, you have a lot of freedom with what you want to do for Grim Favors. Now once you get a total of these, all you have to do is go to the Tree of Whispers and decide what kind of reward you would like to get. Now you're going to have a couple different options for offers from the tree. Now it's going to really depend on what you need, but we would suggest trying to get the legendary version of whatever they offer. Now you're going to know it's a legendary version because it's going to be written in orange. But just an FYI, they don't always offer oranges. Sometimes it's all whites. Now the really cool thing about doing these Grim Favors is you are still collecting a lot of good experience while you're killing monsters or enemies wherever you're getting these Grim Favors from. But you also get rewards for fully completing the 10 favors drop off. Once you claim your reward, you're also going to get a big chunk of experience and you're going to get that cash to open. It's cool that in Diablo 4 there are a couple different kinds of end game that you can do. We do suggest trying to do a little bit of all of them. If we have a Helltide, if we're playing when there's a Helltide active, we typically like to hop in there and open a couple of those mystery chests if we can. We also like to do dungeons, so we'll try and do Grim Favors for the dungeons that we haven't gotten aspects for and then lastly you know doing other pieces of endgame content like doing nightmare dungeons and stuff like that is just a good way to make sure you're getting all of what Diablo 4 has to offer. Now let's talk about the harvest event in particular that you can do for Grim Favors. Now there's typically a couple of these active throughout Sanctuary for Grim Favors and when you complete it you're gonna get three. So what you have to do is collect these orbs that drop from the monsters or the enemies in a specific location in Sanctuary. Once you get a total of, it depends, most of the time it's 50 or 100, you can go and deposit these and then it'll summon a couple hard elite enemies and once you kill them, you get the Grim Favors. Now what's also pretty cool is when you're walking across Sanctuary to do some Grim Favors, you might come across events that you can do for Grim Favors as well. Now these events typically have other people doing them, so you can party up and then do them together. Do that here. So one thing we do want to say about the caches from the Tree of Whispers is that just because you picked a it rings cache doesn't mean you're only going to get ring cache items. So it looks like it gets geared towards what you choose, but it doesn't mean that that's all you're going to get. So don't be surprised if you get like a helmet from a ring cache as well, or you know random items or something. I think it just means that you're pretty much going to get at least one of that item in that cache. We don't really have a whole lot more to add about the Tree of Whispers. It's relatively simple guys. You can do them pretty much at any time when you hop on Diablo 4. So maybe throw this into your rotation if you're not doing it already. Now, good luck with what you get from the tree and may the powers be with you guys. Peace.